All right, what's going on, guys? It's Shade, and um, in this video, I'm gonna be going over some fundamentals for relatively higher level play than um your standard MM or pug game at like a average rank for um just like setting yourself up on the map and doing whatever else. And this is gonna be the start of a new series where I do this um for every map. So starting off on CT side. Standard setup is going to be 1A, 2 mid, 2B. And uh, you need 2 mid because um, mid on cash is like a very strong uh, point that like kind of determines how a lot of the game is played. And um, can just, you know, make or break the map for most teams. So, starting off your setup on CT side, you're going to have one guy that starts in Z and works further up towards mid usually or just stays in Z, whatever his preference is, but it's typically better to work up and um, one guy that starts at white box and just kinda uses utility and works off of what's happening. So the first guy that starts at Z is gonna come usually like on pistol rounds obviously it's different. They'll just both be holding mid or sometimes the highway player will go towards A so that uh, there's an easier take but the highway player will just be a little bit more passive so you can take the close range fights with the pistol and uh, that's usually true for the Z guy too they'll just hold like a closer Z angle or maybe sandbags on pistol rounds since there won't be as much utility to force them but uh, on our regular gun rounds the Z player is going to start pushed up to this wall with the smoke Maybe not pushed up, like kind of a bit off the wall on this ramp. And uh, if they have a smoke, they're going to aim right on this middle pipe, uh, straight up from the right side of this window right here, this line. And they'll just run and throw right when their crosshair gets below this, uh, the top wall for the opening. And this will smoke off the mid area. It'll not completely go in, but. They won't have any like ability to push out or see anything as T's from inside garage, so yeah. And another smoke a lot of people like to throw. That does the same thing, it's just maybe a little bit slower, but probably more consistent too. Is by coming to like the middle of the thing here between the two walls and just left quick throwing. Right at the like cross there. This one will go a little bit deeper. But it'll still get there before any T's can do anything, and they won't be able to exploit it at all. They still won't be able to see out. So, uh, with that smoke, it's typically a good idea for one of the CTs to um, push up right on this wall. Maybe play, like, anti-flash or whatever, since they have this smoked off, and they don't need to worry about it too much. Unless someone, like, flashes through, or they flash over boost and run over or something. And, um... Basically the benefit in this is if they do this or go to cubby or whatever else, they have an easier rotate to B, an easier flank through mid, and they can also um, hold this close angle right here that's rarely ever hard cleared in like your average rank. So they can catch them off and maybe get a couple of kills by doing that. And his other buddy mid here, his friend mid, the other mid player, is typically going to be, you know, just kind of using utility and working off of what's going on with this guy and um, what's going on towards either of the sites. Typically, like, they're going to be more focused on A. So uh, what I mean by this is this player, you know, might be a little bit more passive or they could be playing this angle down here holding the Cepha smoke fades or looking up towards boost, but usually their main objective is just to... Be, is just going to be using utility and uh, delaying anything else, kind of helping out their teammate here and rotating. Maybe picking up a couple of frags and just whatever else. Move to Z if their teammate here is pushed up. And yeah. So off of that, moving to A site here, where the highway player is going to be kind of rotating to or focusing on a little bit, since they're usually going to be solo A or whatever the team's comfortable with, which is usually that. Um, they're going to be smoking off A main early into the rounds. They're going to do that by coming up to this uh, truck tire right here. Just aiming at the very top of the sickle and throwing. 
And this smoke will block off the T's from pushing early or getting too much information. And um, it also kind of allows the A player, if he's really willing to, or he has someone with him to kind of get behind the smoke here before it fades and uh, maybe swing out and kind of catch them off, punish them unexpectedly. But um, on A, it's a lot of the time standard not to push when you're alone because that's going to get you picked early. And uh, you're usually just going to be a nuisance to your team if you're doing that. Because A will be open every round, so they will have an easy chance to get it. So with that being said, a good way to play A solo would be to play wherever you're comfortable, really. As long as it's not too aggressive. And when I say that, keep things in mind that like quad is a lot of the time going to get mollied out. So you might have to play like back here more. Or like towards NBK or fence in this corner, which is kind of a one and done spot, but proceed as you might. Um, wherever you can really use utility and be comfortable. So you can play fork and hold this or this side, and if you hear squeaky open you could do a quick molly like that, hold this, kind of a one and done spot if they decide to have multiple people run out there, but yeah. There's also, if they throw the cross smoke in your at fork you would have an easy way to fall back to site, so. Kind of positives and negatives with every spot on A when you're solo. Just gotta kind of do what you must. On that, moving over to standard B setup with how people like to play it, since you'll have two guys here. Uh, sometimes you might have one guy opping, and in that situation, uh, you're not gonna wanna smoke off deep like that, like a lot of people like to do. But if you don't have a guy opping or holding it with an AUG or whatever else, it's standard to throw that smoke by just coming like out onto the catwalk of heaven, I guess you would call it. And just aiming in like this big left panel here, like right in the middle of it, and left click throwing. That'll go... It's a bit off right there since I didn't... wasn't standing in the right spot. But uh... Yeah, like that. That's a better one. What that'll do is kind of prevent them from pushing or uh, getting too much information on where people are if you don't have a guy holding it. So the T's won't be able to do as much and uh, they'll be slowed down. But if you do have an op or an AUG, one guy's typically going to be holding it from whatever angle they prefer. And uh, one guy will be heaven or sight, kind of helping this person out using utility to help them work off, do whatever they need to do. And a good piece of utility to help you do that is by coming to this corner here on top of the generator and aiming above this target with um, top of the little stick coming out, kind of, just left click throwing. And what that'll do is allow the opera to fall off because it'll pop flash these T guys and um, yeah, so you can either do that whenever they call or you can like agree to throw that like after he takes his first shot so he can fall off. Um, Moving forward from that, another piece of utility you can use as a CT on B is by coming into this corner with the paint bucket and aiming at the bottom of this like second window divider or whatever you'd want to call it. I'm just left click throwing. And this is usually going to be a bit more for the rotators from uh, mid or A. And what that'll do is just, as you can see, smoke off checkers right here so they can't really push out as easily. Now, moving over to the T side, I'll just start right on B since we're already here. Um, if you're going to be playing B as terrorists, or like your solo B, a good thing to do, like whether you're taking it or you're playing it solo really, is to come up to this like rusty vent right here, line yourself up right with it, just aim like far to the right, and spam like a couple of times. And what that'll do is break the window pane right here, so that, um, for one, a lot of the time the CTs will think that you've crossed if, uh, after you break the window pane there, and um, that'll kind of make it easier for later into the round for your teammates to just come into here and line up their nades and get out. Now, going on that, the guy who's typically going to be shooting out the window right there is also going to... Usually, it's it can be him or someone else that does this. Usually, if he's solo, though, he'll be doing this alone. 
you'll shoot out that window and um, uh, come up to this corner. Look pretty far to the right and just aim above the windows and take like one step and throw. I went a little bit too fast there, I think. But yeah, it still works. Um, yeah, and what that'll do is block off B main, which is extremely useful, especially in team play, because it'll allow your guys to get like worked up more towards here without really being seen when they cross. You know, get into checkers or uh, for these guys back here to cross safely to a sun rim to throw their nades. And um, I guess the last nade to help you start getting um, ready to execute on B would be by coming to the middle of this elevator here, aiming like to the top right of this curve and just like taking a step or two and throw. And then I'll Molotov off checkers so that no one can push it or uh, get any information because if this is smoked out, usually a guy who would like to maybe hold it, <coughs> excuse me, hold it or uh, get more aggressive towards B main. We'll work into here and start playing off of it, but um, that'll obviously be impossible for him to do with that Molotov thrown. And now comes the important part, the actual execute of the bomb site. So after um, everyone's in their positions and the smoke is faded, or like whatever timing you have, uh, you typically gonna you're typically gonna want a guy to smoke off a tree, uh, someone to like Molotov headshot or default and headshot area and sometimes like a smoke in heaven so the way to do these things would be to come for a molotov and a smoke a guy can come up to this corner right here like in between the fence and the white box I guess you would call it and uh, get themselves pushed up on top of the ledge in the corner <coughs> and a smoke tree aim at this like second rusty bolt from this side or this side really and uh right in the middle of it and just left click throw and right after they throw that they can aim like in between these two bolts but at this bolt height kind of maybe a bit lower even and just left click throw and that smoke will smoke off tree and the uh, molotov is gonna hit default if you aim a bit lower it'll like molotov a bit of headshot as well which is obviously beneficial but anyways, uh, as you have one guy throwing those couple of nades there, you can have another guy uh, throw a heaven smoke, or throw an extra tree smoke if they really like. Extra tree smoke would be like that. Pretty simple lineup, just like run and throw towards the, that thing. That uh, whatever you call a little segment of wall. But um, for the heaven smoke, you can come up like right here, make yourself like kind of vulnerable, like as little as possible though. Just aim at this black dot on the wall. Uh, if you can really see it, I don't know if you can. Make my crosser like that so you can kind of tell a bit better. And then uh, throw while well, you're crouching. And that'll hit heaven, but it's not really the most practical smoke as you can tell. So a way that would almost do that just as well is by kind of like jiggling heaven a little bit. Or maybe like throwing it, if you know it's clear, by jiggling and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I would say that's pretty much the fundamentals on how to hit B effectively. Usually you're going to have, this really depends on the team, but like, three or four guys come through here and then maybe like one guy clear checkers, one or two guys. And then, um, you're always going to want a guy holding vent on the retake. Uh, one or two guys towards site, depending on where the plant is. Playing, um, kind of one heaven, one tree, usually. You know, playing off of each other, and then maybe one guy B main holding behind, just ready to come back around and help with site. So anyways, um, for mid on T side, you're gonna wanna come, uh, there's mainly two smokes that are important, and that's the wall of smokes, but besides that, there's uh, the white box smoke, which can be somewhat important, even though it's not very practical, and the Z smoke, but I'll cover those in a minute. So, the first smoke for the wall of smokes, or whatever you want to call it, is by coming like to the right of this uh, side a little bit, so you've got enough space to throw the smoke, but you're still pretty close to it. 
Um, and I'll get a bit closer so I can show you. Aiming in between these two lines and the right like panel of windows or whatever you call these and uh, aiming up. So I'll go back here and show you. Get to a bit to the right of this wall. Um, aim in between these and aim towards like for me, it's pretty much right where the bottom of my crosshair hits the wall, but uh, might be a bit different for you. Just aim a little bit up into the window, basically. And left click throw, that one will land right there on the right side of mid. And by standing in this door frame, um, this lineup's a little bit weird, but basically you just aim down from this knob right here, the hanging thing, the hook or whatever you want to call it. Sprinkler, I think that is. Um, aim down and to the right of it towards like the middle of this pane the middle top and throw so after you have both thrown it'll be like that which effectively creates a wall of smokes for you to you and your team to push out like garage and jump up look at white box or molly uh z do whatever you want with it um, just basically get out mid and start working it. Maybe a guy up boost is pretty typical for that, to take behind smokes if he wants. Also, the white box smoke for mid, another kind of goofy smoke to line up. For me, uh, with my view model and stuff, I have left hand and I believe the classic view model. Uh, I put my finger on this dot right here. When I hold the left click for the smoke, when I'm in the middle of the van here, like right above the license plate, jump up onto the ledge and just uh, throw that smoke. And this does basically what the right wall of smokes would do, except it gets a bit closer to white box, so it's going to prevent the person up here from seeing a bit more, I guess. Really not too practical, but if you're going towards A, you can throw that smoke to <coughs> help you out, maybe. And then uh, there's obviously Z, which um, there's like one, two, three, four, five different um, lineups for this, and it's all based on like these white lines. So I believe this one would be one, two, three, four, five. And to throw the Z smoke, you aim at like the corresponding area, run, and then when you get to the end of your line, you throw. It's the far right one is a little bit iffy, but like this one right here is like the, the yeah you can figure it out. Besides that, there's this smoke, which is for when you're already out mid. And to do this, you come into this corner here, you crouch, and uh, you get your. For me, at least, it's um your right finger, like where the these two things right here meet, the roof and the like roof of this thing I guess, and then you stand up and throw. And that lineup's kind of weird, but um, basically what that'll do is smoke off the top of highway so no one quad or anywhere else on A can pick you guys if you want to work up further towards mid after you get the first couple of picks or whatever else. But, uh, yeah, I guess basically the official way to line it up with your crosshair would probably be to, um, aim, like, right here in this cloud. Like, kind of hard to explain, I guess, but, like, the bottom curve of this cloud. Aim in the middle of it and stand up. Kind of a weird lineup, but there's no real easy way to explain it, I guess. Uh, back to the mid-take, though. So... If you want a Molotov off um, sandbags, which if you're playing against a team, you'll be able to know, like, have a decent idea if there's someone there based on a demo review or whatever else, or any your pugs just gonna take an educated guess on the rounds where someone might be playing there. Or it's always safe to molly it, basically. So um, to molly it off, just aim pretty much anywhere in this uh, corner by the pillar. Uh, you can throw this from pretty much anywhere. I'm just choosing to throw it from the cubby area. But uh, it'll hit the corner of the pillar and molly off this whole area. Usually it'll 
not bounce quite as much there, but still. So another piece of utility that I forgot to show CT side. Um, this isn't really going to be useful for T side, but if you're playing highway CT, or you're at highway on CT for any reason, uh, you can aim where these two, where the ceiling and where this air vent or whatever meet, and take like a step and throw. And what that'll do is it'll pop flash mid kinda. So as you can see, like it's not gonna blind everyone, but it'll blind most players to a decent extent. But uh, yeah, it's a really good pop flash. Pops really quick, and no one's really gonna have time to react. So, anyways, after you've taken mid as T's. A lot of the ways people are going to play off of it, they're not going to go through vents since that makes a bunch of noise and it's a choke point. Um, usually they'll go highway, since there's typically only one A player and usually they'll take down the highway player whilst they're taking mid. And um, one or two guys will come into Z to hold this for the retakes or um, even if they have already had some guys rotate, excuse me, had some guys rotate. Uh, from CT side, from B, uh, maybe they can get the flank on those guys whilst they're distracted or whatever else, but, yeah, usually having one or two guys coming to Z to do whatever is the situation calls for is pretty practical. And then, uh, have some guys go up highway is usually what happens, but, uh, could also just have everyone go through Z and work towards B, maybe one or two guys go vents. It's all up to uh, interpretation, basically. But, um, if you're taking a site from highway, from mid, uh, there's not too much that's really special about it. You can throw a Molotov towards the quad like that. And there's also a way you could throw one, like, over it, but it's not really any point. Just throw it into that corner. Um, Molly the site out by banking it off of there, that's not going to molly it too perfectly, because it's going to bank far enough. If you're further up here, it'd probably go better. Yeah, I like that. And, you know, just use common sense. Probably don't throw too many flashes, because you're all going to be, like, executing towards it. And, uh, yeah, just try to take it from as many angles as possible, I guess. Um, maybe go up cat, like, left side, come towards truck, and clear. Whatever else, just take it. And, uh, if you decide to take it B from that, again, it's kind of common sense. There might be a guy sight, you can molly it out. Kind of like your retake and B almost is how you would, uh, take it. Except, like, with less pressure since there's only two guys there, max. Because they could have B control and all that. Might not be as many guys there. Okay, for the A take, uh, you're typically going to have... Pretty much all your guys in A main, if you're doing a take. And, um, fairly straightforward. This is probably going to be smoked off. Just be wary that someone could be behind the smoke. Um, maybe spam it if you really want to. Could reveal your location. You're not guaranteed the kill, but it's always a decent idea. But after the smoke fades, uh, typical execute. Keep in mind the guy highway could be rotated because, um, they don't have any information mid or something. But the typical execute, you'll have one guy smoke off, cross, and that can be done by coming to the middle of this doorway. Most uh, most people know this one, excuse me. But uh, I'm in kind of like the bottom left quadrant of this uh, like shroud box here. And just run and like throw when you get to the area of this line, maybe a bit before. That'll smoke off your cross, so no one truck can really see you. Uh, for forklift if you want to molotov that kind of like start in the same area like on this corner and uh run and just like throw it off there and that uh, usually if you can do it right with molotov off like at least this little area so they can't really hold it unless they come up to this wall which is yeah um and then besides that if you're an a main if you come up like to this big rusting area like on top of this line kind of you can aim on this corner and pop a flash right out aim in, which can be useful. Like you could have a guy sitting here, that flash pops, you could swing out, or like, molly quad, that's really shitty. Nah, 
that's fine. Um, yeah, you can do whatever you want with that flash, really. But, uh, Insight. It's never bad to molly. Anyways, for, um, Squeaky, it's fairly straightforward. You're typically gonna have one, maybe two guys in here. Uh, this flash works best with two. So, basically, it's a pop flash out Squeaky. And basically, to do it, you're gonna wanna come into this corner, hold the flash, uh, aim at this, like, intersection here, in the bottom of the fourth block over. Uh, you aim, like, where, yeah, this intersection is, with the lines on the blocks. Just left click throw. It will usually go through the door relatively smooth. It's better if it's on, like, open this way. Maybe aim a bit to the right from that, like right there. A bit better. But, um, this flash really won't blind any of you guys over here, obviously, unless, like, they're like that, kind of. But, um, if there's a guy's sight, or, like, in this area, it'll typically blind them a lot better. Than that. Uh, and besides that, not much you can really do from Squeaky besides, uh, Smoke Cross, if you'd like to. Which you can do by coming over here, like, this general area, and just, like, aiming at the, the right side of these boxes and the left side of this white, like, tarp cover. And that'll smoke cross pretty much as effectively as you could from a man And, uh, flash out, like, that. Which isn't really practical. That's, I think, the more proper way to throw it. Yeah. But, uh, again, that's pretty much only gonna blind the guy's sight or, like, back here. I guess it blinds pretty much everyone. It's just not really a pop flash. But, uh... Yeah, and this guy, his job is mostly to clear this area. If this isn't smoked yet, clear that. And kind of, as his team's coming out, to swing out and clear some of the closer angles, like fence, before his team quite gets there. Yeah, if you guys have any more questions or comments on how to play cash or anything like that, um, leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back with the best answer I can with what experience I have. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace. But uh, if you throw on like the corner of that divider, somehow that hit the side of it. But uh, if you throw on the... Cut that.